Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. Hey guys, welcome to Just Card Rob. Well, the new workbench is installed, and you can see I already started doing something. I already started it. It got in my head last night about 1 o'clock in the morning, so I came out here and, and I had to carve it. Just couldn't get it out of my head. Look at that. Four legs. I think this guy is from the planet Arachnid. Arachnid, yeah. So let's uh, let's keep carving and see what he comes out to be. I don't know. It's just just something that was in my head, and it it had to come out. Oh, feel like crap today, guys. My son decided to bring home some kind of bug. He's been out of work for the last three or four days. And of course, he had to share it with us. Fun, fun. Right now, I think I'm in stage one where your head feels like it's a balloon ready to pop so I'm hiding out here in the shop Ugh. So I don't know how much we're actually going to get done today. This is some more of that mystery wood Pete sent us. I think it's pine. Definitely smelt like pine when I cut it on the bandsaw. So I'm going with pine. Some kind of pine. So I guess we'll, the back story that came in my head is that this is a world that was once ruled by kind of like spider people. And they have destroyed their environment. So they can't go out on the surface of the planet. Unless they are wearing this type of, let's say, robotic bio suit. That's what I'm going with. For now, anyway. You know how stories, backstories change. But yeah, I think that's, that's what happened. They... They polluted their planet so bad. Some of them went to uh, the planet occupied in the Calamari galaxy. And some of them went underground on their own planet of Arachnid.
So right now, all I'm doing is rounding over the feet using a, I believe it's a one inch OCC carving knife. Can be done with your Dremel too. I just don't know if my head will handle the noise from the vacuum cleaner and the Dremel. Like I said, it feels like it's gonna pop. So, I don't know how far we will get with this video today. I will prolong the agony as long as I can. You may just have to give it up and kick back in the recliner. watch some TV I don't know probably shouldn't even be doing this but I don't care we'll see we will see my friends we will see how the day rolls We got some kind of bug going around Michigan. They've actually closed down a couple schools and between students and teachers and teachers not making it into work and students not going to class because they're all sick. So instead of going to class, they go to the stores and then give it to everybody. Yeehaw. That's why I hate going to stores. Too many sick people running around. They don't know better to stay home. Get your medicine and go home. That's what I used to do when I got the flu. I'd just go home. Now I'm sick and at home. And still don't know enough to go lay down. Okay. these feet off back and make sure all of our cuts are cleaned up we're gonna run through this all this we'll, we'll go over all this with a diamond bird to get everything cleaned up I don't know though I kind of like that having the carved lines in it a big chunk off our foot okay before I was always holding the camera to the <laughs> to the edge of the table and then the new table I'm holding it too far back right I gotta remember to look up once in a while see what's going on Hard to get in between those legs with a knife. Imagine it'd be hard to get in between them with a Dremel too. I'm 
try to keep everything round. Got that one area. It's just hard to get that blade in there. Well, that's looking pretty good on that side. Okay, the wood's chipping out that way, so I guess that means we gotta go down on it. I think that's looking, that looks all right. Let's do the other foot. How many arms should we give this guy? I think we should give him four arms, four legs, that's eight. don't know what's worse today. My head and my back or my neck. They're all causing a great deal of discomfort. I think all the pain medication I take would take care of the all of it, wouldn't you? You wouldn't even think that I would care. So how's it going, evil, evil Rick? Hope things are working out for you, man. Okay, so I think that's that's got all of his feet taken care of. We'll get down way down in here, clean all this fuzz out of here. Really can't do it with a knife because of the the angle. Got a lot of fuzz down in here. So hopefully we can get reached down in there with a diamond bird and, and clean all that out. 
So that's what he's looking like anyway, guys. This is the front view, side view, back view. Well, maybe we just give them two arms. Looks like I start rounding over the back, so I don't know if we can save that or not. I think we'll just continue to round this over. And just give them two arms. Yeah, it looks like we last night I must have started rounding this over back here, so Uh, I think we've already written that script. I think the ship has sailed for four arms. Maybe not. I don't know. This still got to come down quite a bit. And so does this bottom ball. Or oval, whatever you want to call it. So I see a lot of people have entered the beaver contest. We'll be giving him away. Well, we'll be doing the drawing on February 14th. And I will announce the winner sometime during February 14th. And then it will be up to you you send me an email with your address. Whoever the lucky, lucky person is that's going to win a beaver on Valentine's Day. Okay. We have to get out a longer knife so we can get deeper reach on that guy. Okay. So, that looks like it's about it for this one, guys. Share, subscribe, and like if you want to. If not, thanks for stopping by. And we will catch you on the next one. Remember, just carve. Carve every day. Carve something awesome. And uh, share, subscribe, and like. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.